Hi, this is Ripley asleep. She's really comfortable in this snuggly bed, which she absolutely loves. This is an elephant that we put with her every time she sleeps, a little bed buddy. And then this is a little toy that came from a litter. It does squeak. She takes this everywhere. So when she goes to sleep, we encourage her to sleep with these two, whether it's in a bed or in a cage. This toy we took with her when we went to collect her. It does squeak, but I'm not going to squeak it because she's asleep, obviously. But we gave her that on a journey to chew on and it's got different sensory sounds and textures. This little bone, we put it in the fridge to keep it cool. But this is a quick grab toy, which we put into her mouth if she's chewing on something she shouldn't be chewing on. And then we praise her, lots of praise for chewing on the right things. This is her pheasant, which again squeaks, but will not squeak it. She retrieved this from day one. She absolutely loves it. I think this was about three pound from Wilco's. This is a tug rope, which she loves, really tough. We didn't think that she'd take to this straight away. We thought maybe when she's older, but she absolutely loves playing with this. Likewise with this rugby ball, we ordered it, thinking it'd be quite small. It's actually, as you can see, quite big but she loves playing to go well with this heavy. and heavy. But we also got this Kong, again it squeaks, but I'll not do it while she's asleep. But we put the Kong through here and we pull, oops, oops. I'll not push it in, but we push it in and she pulls on it. And we also put a little bed buddy inside there for her to get. This rope toy, absolutely brilliant. Again, if she looks like she's going for something that she shouldn't be chewing, we push this into her face, encourage her to chew it and give her lots of praise. She loves that one. And she's got a tennis ball, which she retrieves. She's got another little toy, which we put treats in, which is supposed to clean her teeth as well. She's not really taken to that as yet. She plays with it, but she does, she's not really interested. But another homemade toy is just a tennis ball with the top cut off and treats inside. And she presses it and they, they fall out. Another homemade toy, just a plastic colander with an old scarf, push through the holes, and then we put a, a, a food in there to keep her entertained and she searches for it. So there's a bit of brain, brain usage and a bit of exercise. And it also keeps her occupied if we're eating. She's entertained by a couple of treats and brain, brain training. She's also discovered this plastic bottle, which again, we put treats in. And she runs around, drags this around, chews it, which is good that she's chewing this and not the furniture. And she put treats in it, she shakes them up and they fall out. She loves that. She obviously loves the slippers, my old slipper, Andrew's old slipper, and an old paper bag, which the breeder gave us all her uh, food in and her paperwork, etc. But she loves running around the house with that one. So on day of coll collection of Ripley, we put a towel on the car seat and we put puppy pads on the footwell and on our lap. And then we wrapped her in a new blanket that we bought, this cuddly blanket, which again is from Wilco's, I think about four pound. She absolutely loves this and this goes on her bed. It's only there because it's been washed today. This is her bed. Would recommend a mattress that goes the full size of the cage. We've put this little gray bed that she's in at the moment but she didn't seem to settle because there was a gap around. So when we put this bed in, she's really settled. This little blanket under here is a blanket that came from her mother from the litter. We have washed it. So she's been with us two weeks now. We've only washed it once, but she doesn't seem to be bothered if she's not with that. But then just lots of blankets. She loves to snuggle under blankets. This is the pen that we purchased. So on an evening, we can shut this door, but leave her cage open. And it keeps her away from the cables and the TV. When she goes out for a toilet training, she sits at the door to come in. We make sure that this is shut. And then she sits before we let her back into the rest of the lounge. But that's an absolute godsend, this pen. And we've also got these microfiber towels. We've got two pack, again, One's just been washed, but they dry really quickly. When we bathed her, we bathed her in the sink the first time. We just used Johnson's baby shampoo 
and she just loved it. She didn't struggle, she just let us do what we wanted to do. She absolutely loved it. But those microfiber towels dry really quickly. And then the last thing I'd just say, we bought these little water bowls ready for when we go out walking. And they just clip onto your, onto your bag. But we took this with us when we picked her up. She did want a little drink of water. Obviously, don't give her too much water if you've got a long journey because she probably want, or he probably want to go to the loo. And like Andrew said on the reply, we did take some treats with us, but I think they were a little bit rich. So if your breeder gives you some food, I would recommend that you just take a handful into the car and just give it to calm your puppy down. Hope that helps. If you want any more information, just give us a shout. Good luck.